Hey everyone, so we just discussed how to design a letterhead as part of your brand identity. We're going to switch gears now and talk about how to design a two-sided business card all in Adobe InDesign. So let's get started. I've set up my document here. I've selected the US business card option from my document size. I've created guides here that are four rows and four columns. That takes any guesswork out when you're putting in your information. So first and foremost, I want to go to my background layer and we're gonna create the, the back side of this card. And much like I showed you how to do on the letterhead, just make it black. In this case, mine is black 90%, okay? I'm just gonna go to my pages here and I'm gonna go to this page that I've already created and I'm gonna grab that pattern. Now I could import that pattern again, but just to save some time, I'm going to grab it, go to this page here, um, and then much like I showed you how to do the shortcut for paste in place, shift option command V, that will place it in the exact position where you grabbed it from the previous page. I'm gonna go to my layers and lock that background for now. And this is where I'm gonna bring in my logo. So let's do that. I'm gonna go to my logo layer and let's bring that over. I'm just gonna bump that up in size option command greater than okay and I'm gonna grab my selection tool I'm just gonna fit this box so it's nice and snug around the logo and remember to align to a page centrally and horizontally click on it go up to your alignment tools make sure that you're working from align to page and let's align it the horizontal centers and the vertical centers. Now I know for sure that's centered on this business card. Another way of doing that is just making sure your smart guides are on. This uh, line will light up to tell me that it's centered that way and then it's centered horizontally as well, okay? So again, let's just assume that that's done. You've created a background, taken a nice uh, pattern based on the uh, icon from your mark. But again, that could change from brand to brand, right? So let's move on to this, this second page. All right, so there's my second page. Just to give you an example, here's the one that I've already designed. We're gonna put the person's name, their title, their contact info, where they're located, their office, and maybe um, a website, and then their logo again. Just to keep in mind, if you want to change your margins, go up to layout, margins and columns, and let's make these there. That's what I had it initially, 0 0.1875. So that's good. I'm, I may have to do that to the other page as well. Layout, margins and columns. There, I like that better. Now I have to go back and let's, um, Let's redo my grid, my create guides here. I'm gonna remove the existing guides, make it four rows, four columns, and we should be good now. Okay, good. Okay, so first thing I wanna do is let's put that person's name in. Um, actually, let's go back to layers, unlock that layer, and just give this another background here. Just a white background is fine. Again, let's make sure we're working on the background layer. Put that in. Let's make it white or paper. And let's go ahead and lock that layer. Go to my typography and let's put in that person's name. Tyler Thompson. Montserrat black and let's make it 14 make it nice and big a 
click on your box, hold option and drag another box out. And let's put the title. He's the director of sales. Let's make this point size 10. Let's make it instead of black, regular. How's that look? Okay, so we have his name, we have director of sales. Let's make that uh, nine. Yeah, that works better to me. Okay. And what I like to do is let's just go ahead and click Tyler Thompson, maybe make another copy here. And what did we have for, yeah, let's put in his phone number and his email. So 416-352-7643. Let's make this bold and 12 point, okay. And then enter. T.Thompson, let's put his email in, T.Thompson at uh, groovemusic.com, how's that? I just want to double check the point size that I did on the first version just so we can relate the two. Let's go to layers, unlock that. So that was seven, 14, eight, seven, seven. Let's do that. Let's go to back to my, this page here. And I think this was seven points. So let's go ahead and do that. Start at eight, maybe eight's good. Okay, so I've got his phone number. I mean, essentially you could also do this, P and then E. Just if you wanted to add, you know, another touch there. And then just do another copy of that. Bring that down. And this is where you can put things such as the company. So put their address back in. I'll just copy this stuff here. Go back to my last page. Paste it in here. And then you just play with your, your, your boxes here, your type, and see what works best. I want that PO box to sit on the margin. That's good there. And I'll maybe take this stuff and move it up a bit. By the way, if you hold shift while you're maneuvering this stuff, it'll, it'll lock to position. So you're not moving it left or right. You can just move it up and down. Let's lock that layer again. Click here. So let's do something like that and let's move it up a bit maybe. And then I think I'm going to bring in the logo again. Oops, let's go back here. Unlock this layer. Let's bring in that logo. Move it into the corner. Again, option command and greater than, we'll bump it up. And I like to make the box smaller here. And then play around with where you wanna place the logo. It doesn't have to be in one of the corners, but see what looks good. I mean, I could leave it there. I could try it, you know, I could do, even do it like, something like that. How does that look? No, I don't like that. You could do it down below here. I think for this example, I think I like it down below. And so you're going to want to just line it up with the bottom of that text the best you can. And then again, if you wanted to put a website, just going back to typography, Let's 
do that again. Not sure what's going on here. Could just do another copy like there we go. www.groovemusic.com Gonna make that down to seven, six point. Let's make it semi bold. Remember, rotate it. So let's do something like that and then anchor it to something like the top of that T. Okay. So that's how you would do a business card. Obviously, I would play around with this to fix things, but. Uh, be strategic on how you put things on a business card because it's going to matter in the end. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. That's it for today. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye now.